Hello everyone, Frozen Carlos here, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke. Uh, in the last episode, we ended up getting some encounters and made our way to Rustboro. And in this episode, uh, if you didn't tell from the grinding montage, I uh, did a little bit of grinding and um, in order to prepare for the gym. So let's do a team party recap. We got Battle Wing, our Talo, with uh, Quick Attack, Peck, Focus Energy, and Growl. We have Luna the Poochiena with Tackle, Howl, and Sand Attack. We have Ziggy the Zigzagoon with Tackle, Growl, Tail Whip, and Headbutt. And we have Skips, our starter, with Tackle, Growl, Mud Slap, and Water Gun. Um, yeah, so I got them all the way up to level 12 because I think that's a decent level to get them at. Um, I'm, if I remember correctly, I think the gym leader it's, has about has like one level 14 or something, but it should be easy. I shouldn't have a problem. Yo, how's it going? Listen, my friend, would you like to become the champion? I'm no trainer, not me, but I can sure give you some winning advice. That's settled then. We'll aim for the Pokemon Championship together. It's your job as a trainer to collect gym badges, am I right? But gym leaders aren't push pushovers. And that's where I come in. I'm here to provide expert advice. Roxanne, the gym leader, is a user of Rock-type po Pokemon. Ah, excuse me. The rock type is very durable, but it can't stand water type and grass type moves. Come see me afterwards if you, if you beat the gym leader. Well, go for it. All right. Maybe I should have battled the gym trainers alongside uh, doing the grinding montage, but nah, let's not. I, I decided not to. Don't take us gym trainers lightly. I'll show you why we're better. Oh, well, bring it on, youngster. Uh, youngster Josh. So he has a Geodude. Yeah, that's not a good matchup. But I really want to switch train Talo to prepare Talo for the next gym, because I know who that is. And I'll tell you this, I've had the worst trouble with that particular gym leader. I don't know why. Whenever I used to play the games, I always had trouble with Brawly, the gym leader. I don't know why, but yeah. You were too good for me. Damn right. Wait, before I... Did I stock up on potions? God damn it. Oh. Yeah. That's... Oh, after I kill these guys, beat these guys. Ooh, double battle. Hmm. I think... I'll do this. Yeah. Ooh, boy. If you can't beat me, you won't stand a chance against Roxanne. Oh yeah, that hiker, he's new. We might be in the middle of town, but so what? My rock Pokemon will need room to rampage. Yeah, in this ver in Emerald, he, they added another trainer f for Roxanne, and then it ends up being a double battle, which I'm perfectly okay with. You know, all that experience, you know? Let's see, um, I think I'm just gonna water gun. Tail whip. I mean, Ziggy can't do much in this case. I think Mudkip can... I think Skips is the only one that can handle these Pokemon. Unless... Hmm. I don't, if, I remember, if I remember correctly, I think one of them has a, a Sandshrew. Or I could be totally wrong on that. I think I'm just gonna have Ziggy do his thing. So far, so good. Let's speed that up a little bit. Um. Just lower his attack. Oh, why did I do that? Should have just did water gun. I don't know why I did that. Oops. Water gun. 
Headbutt. Okay then. That's the gym. That's the gym trainers. Wow, that was a. That's a lot of money. I'm thinking I'm gonna go back and get some more potions. To be fair, even though I did <laughs> grind. I'm still, like, really nervous. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna buy four of these. I think I only have enough room for one, yep. Hmm. Nah, I don't need these. Alright. Oh boy. This is gonna be kinda scary. <laughs> but I'm gonna save. Hello, I am Roxanne, the Rustboro Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I might apply what I learned at the Pokemon Trainer School in battle. Would you kindly demonstrate how you battle and with which Pokemon? Oh boy. <laughs> I'm scared. Leader Roxanne. Hmm. Maybe I should have leveled up a little bit more, but it doesn't matter. I just wanted to level up Mudkip just so he can get Water Gun, because I forgot what level he gets it at. And he's at level 14. Yeah, that's a Geodude. Um... I just want, just want um, battling to get the experience right now. Ooh, Rock Tomb. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Well, your defense curl means nothing, because I believe water is special in third gen. Uh, well, it doesn't matter, because you're four times weak to water, so there you go. Oh, here it is, nose pass. Ah, oh, boy. I think what I'm gonna do is sand attack the fuck out of nose pass and then switch out. Oh, you're gonna harden. Oh, well. Yeah, this might take a while. <laughs> Unless he does block, which is a which is always the case. Nah, he's just hardening. I wonder why. Why is she hardening the nose pass? Well, that's that's about as all I'm gonna do. And oh, now she does block. Well then, um, tackle. Ooh, oh, that doesn't do that doesn't do a lot. That doesn't do a lot either. Hmm. just want to make sure he doesn't hit me at all. That's as much as I'm going to do. That's all I really want to do. She's probably going to use a po- Oh no, an Orenberry! Huh. It's been so long. But he's missing all. I'm just happy she's not using Rock Tomb. Yep, there's the potion. Stop! Oh, come on, you bitch! Come on. Oh, oh boy. Yes. Yes. That was... That was pretty... That wasn't so bad. So, I lost. It seems that I have still... I still have much more to learn. I understand. The Pokemon League's rules state that trainers are to be given this if they defeat a gym leader. Please accept the official Pokemon League stone badge. And $1,500. Whew! That was a little... 
That wasn't so bad. That was not so bad at all. The Stone Badge heightens the attack power of your Pokémon. It also enables them to use the HM move cut outside of battle. Please take this with you. And I got Rock Tomb. I don't know who I'm, I don't know if I should teach it to anybody yet. Not only inflicts damage by dropping rocks below speed. Hmm. Actually, I'm not too sure who to use to give that to. I'll think about it. But yeah, we got our first gym badge. I am so happy. Oh boy. Get out! Get out of the way! Uh oh. Aw, oh, jeez! Wait, please! Don't take my goods! Oh boy. Well, before I do all that, I'm gonna heal. <laughs> Woohoo! Now, I'm gonna teach Cut to Ziggy, because he's the only one that can learn it. Oh yeah, I can get rid of Tackle for this. And I got first HM. Just moving that around. Okay, Skips can take a back seat for now. <laughs> Cause uh he's the highest party member now. <laughs> Let's go help that Devon guy. Hey, buddy. Oh, it's you! You're that fantastic trainer who helped me in Petalburg Woods! Help me! I was robbed by Team Aqua. I have to get the Devon goods back. If I don't, I'm gonna be in serious trouble. Never fear, Mr. Devon... Secretary? I'm not too sure. Devon Aid? I don't know what to call him. <laughs> Ugh, I still... I'm still reeling over the fact that I lost Henry. I didn't mean to lose him like that. <laughs> Let's go into Rust Turf Tunnel. Mm, roar! What's going on? I was digging the tunnel without any tools when some goon ordered me out. That tunnel's filled with Pokemon that react badly to now loud noises. They could cause an uproar. That's why we stopped using heavy equipment for tunneling. I'm worried that goon will do something stupid and startle the Pokemon into an uproar. Ooh, well that's not good. Oh, who's this nice old man? Oh, what am I to do? We were on our walk, Pico and I, when we were jumped by an odd thug. The scoundrel made off with my darling Pico. Whoa, Pico! Oh no. Well, that's not very nice. Let's go save. But first, I'm going to get that item. Now, I think I stated this in the last episode. I'm not going to take an encounter here because I did it to get a reroll in the next route. So, yeah. Because I don't really want to Whismer and seeing that I already killed a Pokemon for the... Since I lost a Pokemon to one, I don't want one. What are you coming? Come and get some then. All right then. Oh, wow. Huh. As you can see... This whole cave is teeming with Whismers. I think it's the only encounter on this in this tunnel. All right then. Grah! Keel Hall at all? Huh? That's an interesting term. <laughs> that hostage Pokemon turned out to be worthless. And to think I made a getaway this in this tunnel to nowhere. Hey you! So you want to battle me? Oh boy. Team Aqua Grunt from Petalburg Woods. Yeah, from Petalburg Woods. And he still has that Poochiana. But I think... I think I could take him out. Because I am faster. Wow! That did over half. I'm impressed. Good job. Ooh, sand attack? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I already have some with Growl, so I think I'll give it a, that for Sand Attack. And there we go. Ugh, my career in crime comes to a dead end. This is plain not right. 
The boss told me this would be a slick and easy job to pull. All I had to do was steal some package from Devon. You want it that badly? Take it. Well, there he goes. Pico, am I glad you're safe. Pico owes her her life to you. They call me Mr. Briny, and you are... Ellipses. <laughs> ah, so you are Arya. I sincerely thank you. Now, if there's anything that troubles you, don't hesitate to tell me. You can usually find me in my cottage by this seat near Petalburg Woods. Come, Pico, we should make our way home. All right, then. Nice and good deed for the day. And he's there. Is there an item in here? I don't remember. But these guys tell you about the tunnel project that was supposed to be uh, combining the two routes, uh, the two cities together. Uh, have a negative effect on the local in the area. They got nothing to do but lull around here and do nothing. Yeah. But don't worry. Once we get a certain HM, we should be able to make that possible. I'm gonna cut that. Ooh, a whole bunch of a whole slew of trainers. Uh, I know that's a flower girl over there. Aroma lady. Yeah. Just so you know, I never once been. When your eyes. Or that could be just a lady and a rich boy. I'm not exactly. I don't exactly remember. Oh yeah, it's a lady. It's a lady and a rich boy. Ooh. Oh man, I am so happy with this Taylor. I really wanted a Taylor, <laughs> especially since I knew exactly who I'm gonna go up against next. As the next gym, I could use a Taylor. Um, yeah, I think I'll replace Peck with Wing Attack. There's no point. Ooh, another Zigzagoon. Ooh, nice job. Wing attack. Oh, man. Come on. Ooh, living on barely a sliver of HP. And of course you use the full restore. <sighs> I hate it when they do that. <laughs> Ooh, that's sweet money. It's a good thing I did that before I went... before I went to the Devon guy. Gonna cut that. Oh man. Ralts and a Meryl. Hmm. Well, at least this Meryl isn't a <laughs> fairy type. Ooh, confusion. Oh, it learns that already. Don't you lower my defense. Take that. Oh, please stop. Oh, no. Please don't hit yourself. Ah, uh, you hit yourself. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> oh, that was too hit close. Ooh, nice and bite. Wish I had that before the Ralts came. I slacked off in school, that's why I lost. I'm gonna heal. There we go. Hmm, what if we should give this quick claw to? Maybe to skip since he's so slow. Should have did that before, but oh well. Ooh, a great ball. Nice. Okay. And 
I think this is a rare candy. No, it's an ether. Alrighty then. Is there anything else here? No. Alright then, let's go back to that Devon researcher. Hey, buddy. Oh, how did it go? The Devon goods? You did! You got them back! You really are a great trainer. I know, as my thanks, I'll give you another great ball. Man, I used to love this guy, because he gave you great balls up the wazoo. Excuse me, please. Please come with me. This is Devon. This is the Devon Corporation's third floor. Our president's office is on this floor. Anyway, I can't tell you how much I'm grateful for what you've done. Um, by the way, that parcel you got back for us, could I get you to deliver that to the shipyard in Slateport? It would be awful if those robbers tried to take it again. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, could I count you on you to do that for me? Oh, that's right. Could you wait here for a second? Oh, man. What am I? The postage? The postman? Our president would like you to have a word with you. Please, come with me. Please, go ahead. I'm Mr. Stone, the president of the Devon Corporation. I just got word about you. You saved our staff not just once, but twice. I have a favor to ask of an amazing person like you. I understand that you're delivering a package to Slateport's shipyard. Well, on the way, could you stop off in Duford Town? I was hoping that you'd deliver a letter to Stephen in Duford. Man, I must be... Do I look like a postman to you? <laughs> now, you should know that I'm a great president, so I'd never be so cheap as to ask a favor for nothing in return. That's why I want you to have this! Ooh, the Pokenav. Yes! That device. It's a Pokemon Navigator, or Pokenav for short. It's an indispensable tool for any trainer on an adventure. It has a map of the Hoenn region. You can check the locations of Dufort and Slateport easily. By the way, I've heard that sinister criminals, Magma and Aqua, I believe, have been making trouble far and wide. I think it would be best if you rested up before on your going on your way. Oh, how nice. Well then, Arya, go with caution and care. Woohoo! If you visit the... you see Captain Stern. Alright. Okay, look for a guy called Stern and a guy called Steven. Now, I'm not too sure if they're gonna sit there and... I'm developing new kinds of Pokeballs, but I haven't mentioned much headway. Oh, wow, that's a Pokenav. It came out as a desire to learn about the feelings of Pokemon. Yeah, this is... Uh, visually reproduces the dreams of Pokemon, but it's not going well. Well, luckily for you, in about, what, two generations' time, they'd have something called a Dream Radar and all that shit. Which if I'm for talking with Pokemon, I'm not too sure what that's a reference for. Well, now, should I work on developing next? Ooh, and this guy, we'll be back for him. Ooh, hi there, you're always welcome here. Yeah. Ooh, what does he want? I've been developing an added feature for the Pokenav, and it turned out great. Aria, may I see your Pokenav? The one our president gave you? There you go, Aria. I added new, a new feature named Match Call to your Pokenav. Using the Match Call feature, you can chat with people who have been registered to your Pokenav. Aria, our President Stone should be registered in your Pokenav. Test it out. Please give our President a call. Oh, wow. Match Call. That is the President. Oh, Aria! Since you called me, the Pokenav must be working properly. Other people will be registered, so try calling them up too. Good, good. You seem to be quite happy. Hmm? How could I know that? It's because I'm looking down at you from my office window. Wahaha, see you again. Oh, that's funny. I wonder why I wonder if the reason why they added this whole match call feature was to be like in Gen 2 or something like that. Because didn't Generation 2 have um something like close to that? I don't remember. I never played Generation 2, but I did play the remakes, and the remakes had that little that same feature. But uh, yeah, with that, I'm going to end the episode off here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, uh, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time.